um, how plants are producers and how the structures in their stems and leaves enable them to go through the process of photosynthesis um, to create, to, to produce the, their energy. All right, so make sure that you have your notes handy and that you're ready to do your work. Here's my suggestion. When you're trying to put something into your own words, meaning not copy directly from Miss Lynn's writing and not copy from the, the articles that you read, my suggestion is reread your notes and then close your notebook so that you're not looking at it and then think to yourself, what did I just learn? So that's the information about previous slides. Answer to that question, Hey friends, here we go with our writing prompt for today. Now, I know this is going to be a challenging assignment for you guys, so I just want you to take a deep breath and keep in mind that you have all the information you need to write three to five sentences about photosynthesis. So here it tells us to thoroughly explain how plants obtain energy. When they say thoroughly explain, they mean you need to include a main idea and at least three details about what plants do to get their energy. So I'm gonna show you how I would do this. And before I get started, I want you to remember that you are expected to do your own work based on the information and the strategy that I'm showing you in the video. If you turn in a paragraph that looks identical to the paragraph that I'm about to write, I'm going to give it a zero and send it back to you with a note about the word plagiarism. Plagiarism is when you copy another person's work. I want you to use the strategy I'm showing you to write your own paragraph. I do not want you to copy my paragraph. So the first thing I'm going to do to make sure that I'm prepared to do this assignment is get out my notes that I've been taking throughout the week. On Monday and Tuesday of this week, you should have made notes based on the information on the And what did I just learn is a great way to put the information into your own words, okay? You can also use these sentence starters down here to help get you started. So I'm gonna go ahead and write, I've reviewed my notes. Photosynthesis is the process a plant uses to make its food. Since a plant is a producer, it needs to use energy from the sun to make food, okay? So, so far I've used this sentence starter here and I've used this sentence starter here. Oh no, I've used, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, plants use carbon dioxide and water to make glucose. Glucose is sugar. Now the reason I'm including this sentence about glucose is sugar is because it's always a good idea to assume that the reader of your paragraph doesn't know anything about this at all. So pretend that Miss Lynn d doesn't actually know anything about photosynthesis and you're gonna have to define words like producer, carbon dioxide, glucose, etc. So glucose is sugar. The plant uses the glucose to grow and repro reproduce. Energy, now I'm gonna go back to my sentence starters. Energy for photosynthesis comes from the sun. Have I said that? Yes, energy from the sun. Okay, I'm good with that. 
During photosynthesis, plants use carbon dioxide and water. Okay, talked about this. During photosynthesis, plants release oxygen. I haven't said that yet, so let me make sure I include that. During, whoops, spelling so hard. During photosynthesis, plants release oxygen as waste. Whoops, more spelling problems. All right, let me read my writing one more time. Photosynthesis is the process a plant uses to make its food. Since a plant is a producer, it needs to use energy from the sun to make food. Plants use carbon dioxide and water to make glucose. Glucose is sugar. The plant uses the glucose to grow and reproduce. During photosynthesis, plants release oxygen as waste. So I feel like with this paragraph, I pretty much have explained the process. Now there's always something I could do to make it better, but today's mission is not so much about revising our work to make it better. It's really more about putting the information from the article into our own words. That's what I want you to focus on today. You can feel successful if you've written three to five sentences about photosynthesis without copying them from anywhere. Okay, so let me know if I can help you. And remember, we're winding down to vacation. You're doing amazing.